Hello. On behalf of the organizations presenting to the Board of Directors today, we wanted to take a moment and provide a contextual display of where the crown of the continent is in North America, and we thought Google Earth would be a great tool to do that. So we've uh, created a little mapping tool here, and you can see as we come into the area that separates Montana and Alberta and British Columbia, we can move and put the, the crown of the continent overlay here and really provide a context of the ecosystem. Running through the middle of the map there, you have the international boundary that separates Canada and the United States. And looking to the north, you can see Calgary in the northern parts of the ecosystem. And as you zoom in even further, you can see the Montana towns of Kalispell and Whitefish. The area in red is the watershed boundary for the transboundary Flathead River Valleys, that we'll be hearing about later, which really forms the very heart of the crown of the continent. What makes the crown of the continent so unique is, can be stories that are, that are told and, and heard in the Alberta portion of the crown of the continent, the British Columbia portion of the crown, as well as the Montana portion of the crown of the continent. And what really makes it a very unique ecosystem is the fact that Waterton Glacier International Peace Park forms the core of this ecosystem. It's a, the world's first peace park in an area that draws international attention and visitorship from across the world. Another thing that separates the crown of the continent is its unique habitat and its location as a place of hope as our climate changes 